this slave is uh, informing and we have caught a catch now in 32 meters. Yeah, I kind of like this machine. Alright everyone, and what do we have here? A uh, Swedish BJ machine. I'm gonna put this bad boy on the boat. Let's see what happens. So, this is 16 kilos of fun. Oh, fun and happiness. I've been spending some time installing this pole, putting a 500 meters of lines. I'm gonna carry this on the boat and mount it there and go out and fish. Yeah. All right, I need to make this nice mount here. Should take this bad boy here. Should take it. I've been testing it a couple times now and uh, looking good. So let's, I'll try to put it on now. Take these power cables and... And this is heavy as hell. All right, and many people are probably asking like, what on earth is this machine? This is uh, a Swedish BJ machine. So it's an uh, automatic yuxa machine, so handline machine. In uh, Norwegian fishing waters, people are usually, or professional fishermen are using this for catching a, catching a torsk with uh, the with handline style of fishing. This of course, works almost on every other type of fishing as well. We are now testing this, trying it out and seeing can we catch anything with it. Uh, this unit works with 12 volts. I have a 500 meters of line there, 1.4 millimeter monofill. So it should be able to take some serious fish. Then on the end there is this kind of rubber benby. Bendy plastic, because of course, as you can see, this pole is made on 40 millimeter aluminium. It really doesn't bend anywhere. Of course, this machine has a uh, braking system and it's giving back the line if there is a bigger fish. I have been making now at home a couple of these yuxa rigs. So there's one kilo weight, what takes my Lures to the water, and then I have these plastic octopuses or squids. Usually, people are using a red rubber maggots, but I'm trying these ones now. So, wish me luck. So, on this kind of Arctic waters. Catching a tuna is not so common, but of course you could even use this machine for that. Of course you would need uh, some bendy rod and different uh, type of lines, but in the open ocean they are using this to catch really big ones. So I have uh, great chances of catching a multiple fishes on on these hooks, and it's gonna it's supposed to pull everything up just nicely without me needing to do absolutely anything. So, I just need to hook up the rig on that one. Find my pliers first. Here. And 
here. Oh boy, these are fun. This can take 150 kilo of these rings. Really fun to put with small pliers. There's some fish and uh, all right, let's give some power to this beast. Like that. Then let's uh, come here. Let's put it on. I'm selecting uh, bottom fishing. Wait. Depth is at the moment it's 50 meters, so let's put it on 85. 5 meter jigging up and down. Okay, 1 meter from the bottom. I have uh, 5 jigs. Let's put it on. There. So. Now I can just take this out. I could as well zero this position, but maybe I'll do that first. So let's pull this line a bit up. There. Zero it and now down. There, so here it goes. Plumps. And just not touching anywhere, not doing anything. And oh, there is a lot of fish. So now it's going down. This number here tells how many meters is it is down. And now it's in the bottom. The line got slack. And now it starts pulling it up by itself. And down again. So. This is uh, exhausting. I'm fishing. Ish. happening. Let's see what it is. Yep, boy. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, oh. oh, look at that. This is a uh, big Ross, man. Quite, uh, quite decent size. So let's let that loose. And it's of course not cooperating. Yeah, not cooperating. 
opening its mouth and it's shitting on me. Well, I would be as well. But <laughs> to any intruder who is trying to creep me out from my home. There and there. So this fellow is going now back to the freedom. No. There it went. And now I'm full of shit. Hard work. Mm. People pulling. Yeah, I'm definitely exhausted. Mm. Cool. Yeah, you tell that machine. I'm privileged to test this VJ5000 EX machine now. And I have absolutely no clue who has been inventing this name. When I heard about it, I was seriously thinking this is this has nothing to do with fishing. Icelandic machine is called DNG. Then there is a couple other Norwegian profs, Juxa machine, and then this is called VJ5000. Well, it seems that name is not a really serious issue with. In this case, still fishes, still still does the job. Works damn well. Is it easy to use? Well, fairly. When you are familiar with the controls. Of course there is like a weird thing is for the people who haven't even done this kind of fishing before. So zeroing, choosing a program, how much there is a break. What's the indicator when it starts pulling it up when there is actually a fish. So all of these kind of settings you need to choose yourself and decide. And of course this is just a trial and error. It depends also how heavy the weight you have there. Now I have one kilo Svensk built there. So let's see how this works. I have a high hopes. So of course one of the reasons why I'm making this video is I could only, when I was checking out these machines, I could only find, a, I don't know, maybe 15 year old videos out from this machine and nothing else. No updates, no nothing, all the professional fishermen are using this, but no one haven't made a video. Well, probably they are busy fishing, I guess. But uh, about these programs and settings and everything on this machine, the manual actually with what comes with it, is like massive. There is everything what you need to uh, what you need to know when you are setting it up and uh, you know checking it out what kind of functions it does. So what I have at least seen or check the manual, you can even use this to catch a swordfish or a big tuna or anything. Then you just need uh, this flexible pole and. Uh, the machine will pull them up. Alright, now our lovely machine is saying catch 20 meters or it caught something on 20 meters. So now this. Oh, Hollywood! Uh -huh. Oh no! Oh ho! Now this we are taking. This is a big cat. Nice! That really we are one. definitely taking. Shall we take it? Yes, it's a nice wool fish. Watch out, watch out. This fellow is dangerous. This is a fish you do not play with the mouth. This is a bulldog of the sea. I'm gonna put it there. And it's trying to bite itself, it seems. Yeah. 
So this kind of stuff will happen on your boot. It's biting so damn hard. So if you put something on its mouth, it will crush everything. This fish has very powerful bites. It has extremely big cheek muscles, which you can see. Um, it is capable of crushing the shell of crabs, of crawfish, uh, and uh, seashells and clams uh, to feed on what's inside. So the powerful bite here is very painful to play around with. You do not go close to that mouth. All right, where's my clip? That's uh, that's nice and what one? Looks like uh, a little bit like an eel. So brosma. Yeah, that is a huge brosma. That's really big one. I'm gonna just uh, let it go immediately. Yes, you do that. Yeah, there it goes down in the bottom again. Oof, that was a big one. I took on this just a blank silver one kilo. Yeah. So uh, this is so tough. Yeah. I have to press three three times. And... Now I'm fishing. We'll extra talk about these three different yokes machines or these kind of professional fishing machines, what they're called automatic hand line pulling machines. So, three different types. This VJ 5000 E axis coming from Sweden, and uh, this is fairly simple to use, at least in my opinion, easy to use, easy to put the setup everything like that through and it's fishing all the time here nicely no problems no errors no nothing support is good if i need to call them and ask something they are really friendly then this is like the on the price class this is on the medium price class then the dng machine it's from iceland so it's same kind of machine, the, the drum where the line is, it's actually closed. On uh, this uh, Swedish BJ, the drum where the line is, it's open. So I can easily just fix it if it gets uh, tangled or something happens. But on the DNG and the Profs Juxa machine, it's closed. And uh, mostly people are using uh, this uh, fiber line on them, not the nylon, because nylon is really easily getting tangled. And uh, the DNG machine is from uh, Iceland and it costs a lot. And I mean like seriously a lot. Of course it's uh, professional equipment, but it's like almost the double the price compared to this machine. I think it has exactly the same kind of molds as this unit has. I'm not 100% sure, I haven't tried it, but I have read, read, it, uh, read a lot about it. And uh, then this uh, last, this Profs machine, it's from Norway. And I have heard a lot about it. So it's a really good machine, it uses a lot of power, same as this one. This 5000E axis is uh, having a new motor, so this is uh, using a lot, lot less power than uh, DNG machine, let's say it this way. So the profs is almost on, in my opinion, it's like uh, on the same level as this BJ. And then the DNG is, I would consider it to put it on the bottom. Of course, it's the best, but it costs double. So is it really worth double? What do you get for that money? Well, seriously, I don't know. Now I've been happily testing out this one, still happy, nothing to complain. Of course, I guess it, uh, it could like uh, use less power, but that's about it. Uh, no, there's definitely 
becoming something. Yeah, nice robot. Good job. We're gonna get the uh, oil. I don't think it needs. Electricity, tender, love and care. Oh, it's small say. That will let go. Yep. From the tail. Poor thing. There. All right. I don't even know what fish this is. Maybe fish number. Yeah, ten. Now this nice robot is pulling a more fish to our dinner table. Let's see what fish it is now. Four, three. That's a torsk. Good size. That's a keeper. fishing but it's not really easy to mount first it cannot be mounted many way but I have mounted it on this kind of pole here so of course I needed to make first this bracket and I needed to make that other bracket weld it actually my friend was helping welding it and uh, then mount it here I got this nice pole so there was a kind of bit of a problem to actually set it up on the boat so it's not anything like what you can just uh, let's buy, buy this fishing machine and uh, it's easy to install well no it's not but do I like it oh boy yes I do <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that tells me how, how much I like it, so just hear this nice beeping. Cat's depth, 49 meters, it's even telling us where did it caught the fish. And now just, just this horrible work is to take the fish out from the hook. Sixteen meters, fifteen meters. Seven, six, four, three, two, one. Oh, it's a small baby brosna. We are letting this this fellow go. Yep, and there it goes. Alright, that was it. And that was my small review about the BJ5000EX machine. I'm gonna actually figure out later if it's only for fishing. So, if you like what you're seeing and what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel to grow. And next time something else, thanks for watching. Bye bye.